All right, this is level 14, the final level, uh, before the boss, I guess, a uh, long way. It's a very long level, has some cycles, has some enemies. Um, yeah, so let's just get to it. So I'm going to show uh, just the... There, there's actually two strats for this level. There's the fast strat, which is ludicrously, ludicrously hard, uh, that I do not recommend. I'm probably going to show it in a separate video, actually. This video is going to be specifically on the, the slower, way easier strat. Um, so that's going to look like this. We're going to jump and trigger this first platform, and then trigger the second one, and we're going to get on this windmill. And now, you don't, uh, as long as you're like halfway, see I, I was fine where I'm currently standing. It's it's like actually really consistent, like where I'm standing here with my foot uh, just like level with the, the edge is, is safe enough. You don't die to the saw. I mean obviously I did there, but uh, like on the cycle, uh, it's like totally fine. I see a lot of people like wait for the next uh, windmill arm because they're scared that they're gonna die to the saw blade, but there's actually a lot of room there. Uh, so I'll just show that again. So yeah, you can just get on this arm, and as long as you're on the like the left half of it, you're fine. Uh, and then we're gonna jump over here now. When you jump off of the windmill and onto this platform, uh, there's those handy notches in, like in the background that I use as a visual cue. Um, so there's like uh, there's that line going across, and there's the notch underneath it, and there's like a uh, I think it's the third notch down is where you jump. It's probably the second one actually. I don't remember. Let me try. Uh, it probably is the third notch actually. And if I could get the saw blade out of the way. Yeah, so when, uh, so again, so there's the, the, the horizontal line, and there's a, the notch under it, the notch under that, and the, the notch, the third notch under that. That's when you jump. When the platform is level with that, you can jump onto here and not die. Or rather, and make the jump. Um, yeah. So from there, you want to jump up here, jump over here, push this box. Uh, now, again, when you push this box off the edge, you want to jump as soon as you do it, um... To avoid pushing the box extra distance uh, to the right and also to start falling quicker. So something like that. Uh, and then turn around, push it onto the switch. Um, now it is possible to like we're trying to get over to the to the right side, right? You can jump straight from here to the like to the other side. If the saw blade's on the way, I guess. Um, but you actually don't want to do that. You actually want to land on this windmill if possible. Uh, and the reason is because the, the windmill's moving to the right, and you're also moving to the right, so it'll add to your speed if you, like, run along it. So you want to do something like this, and just land and run, and it saves a little bit of time. Um, and now, if the windmill's, like, in a sort of awkward place, and you have to land down here, that's totally fine. When you're, like, so there's this square, like, on the on the ground, like, the square with the catbird face in it. When you're, like, halfway over the, the catbird, like, where I'm standing right now, uh, you can jump straight from here onto this uh, platform with the button. It's just very easy to do. Uh, so even if you have like a really awkward windmill placement and you end up landing here, that's totally fine. You can just jump from here to here. Uh, okay, so now here you just want to run off the edge. And it's like impossible to die, I'm pretty sure. You just hold right and don't flutter and you're fine. Yeah, you can even land. I mean, you, you should probably just flutter, but you, you can even just like land here and jump. And you're totally fine. Snag the checkpoint. Uh, now these gremlins. So I'm off cycle. Uh, I believe if you do everything super optimally, the third and the fourth guy are, are a problem. But if you do everything like as fast as possible, you can actually beat them. Now it's sort of possible to jump over them uh, if you're like already sort of like on top of them, I guess. I'll s try and demonstrate. So like you can sort of do do that, what I just did. Like if, if you're if you're like early enough, you can do it. Like if you're if they're right in front of you, yeah, you die. But like you can, you can actually like sort of beat them by jumping a little bit, um, and then you just finish out the level. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Some trampoline bounces, and we go to the exit. Um, so yeah, that's a uh, long way.